we're going to do a very quick recap of multiplying and dividing by 10, 100,000, etc. We did look at this with, when we did fractions, so it's just a quick recap. So remember, we looked and we said if we did 5 times 10 is 50, 50 times 10 is 500. What we're seeing when we're multiplying by 10 is we're not changing the digit, we're just some changing its place value. So 5 was in the 1s, now it's in the 10s, then it was in the 10s, now it's in the 100s. So all you want to do when you multiply by 10 is change the place value. And it's tempting to just say, okay, we just pop a zero on the end to change the place value. And that's fine as long as you're dealing with whole numbers. But of course, the problem comes is if you've got zero comma five and you multiply by 10, if you try and use that rule of just pop a zero on the end, you're going to just put a zero on the end here and you're going to say it's zero comma five zero. And then you actually haven't changed the fact place value. In fact, you haven't changed anything at all because 0, 0,50 and 0, 0,5 are exactly the same thing. You've got 5 tenths, and here you've got no hundredths, but here you've also got no hundredths. So popping a 0 on the end doesn't work very nicely when you get to decimals. And so what we said is instead what we're going to do to change the place value is move the decimal comma over to the right to make the place value of the 5 bigger and so you'd end up with 5 comma 0 which is just 5. So if we want to do something like 0 comma 2 3 multiplied by a thousand we've got to move the place value over 1 2 3 and so what we're going to do is we're going to move the comma and we're going to move it 1 two, three, right, and put a zero in there, and so we get two, three, zero as our answer. If we want to divide by a thousand, this is just going to require us to make the place value smaller, and so we're just going to move the comma in the other direction, and again, one, two, three, lots of ten, so we're going to move one, two, three lots over, put the comma there, and we'll fill in the zeros. And so we get our answer is zero comma zero 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 two three. So multiplying and dividing by 10 is very simple. It's just a case of changing the place value. And the easiest way to do that is by moving the comma.